Good morning, LGN. Today is Thursday, September 29th, 2022. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your hand over your heart and face the flag. One, two, three. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, friends, we're here for a Thursday, and today is one of my favorite days of the year. It is Coffee Day. That's right, it's National Coffee Day today, and Mr. Higgins definitely loves coffee. Now, I'd be lying if I said this was coffee. It's not. It's actually Irish tea, but I do love coffee. Um, maybe it's just the caffeine I love. I don't know. I didn't start drinking coffee until I had a third kid, and uh, I went back to school to become a principal. So I don't know if that tells you anything about what I needed at the time, maybe some toothpicks to keep my eyes open, all the reading I did, all the writing I did, all the preparing to be a principal. It's a lot of work, especially with three young kids. Anyway, a little bit of coffee history for you today. This comes to, uh, to us from nationaldaycalendar.com. Many legendary accounts tell how coffee first came to be. However, the earliest credible evidence of either coffee drinking or the knowledge of coffee trees of the coffee tree appears in the middle of the 15th century in the Sufi monasteries around Mocha in Yemen. Yemen? Here monks first roasted coffee seeds and brewed coffee, much like we prepare them today. Yemeni traders brought coffee back to their homeland from Ethiopia and began to cultivate the seed. I'm sure glad they did. Coffee later spread to Italy and the rest of Europe, Indonesia, and the Americas. Now today, while Brazil produces more coffee in the world than any other country, that's in South America, Colombia, which is also in South America, closely follows. Also, more than 50 countries around the world grow coffee too. Pretty cool, huh? Well, what would today be without some coffee jokes, right? All right, I've got a few for you, you ready? Okay, now, these aren't my jokes. <laughs> Just fair warning, all right? I have a few of them. Uh, this first one's great, I love it. How do you discipline bad coffee? How do you discipline bad coffee? Well, you ground it, of, co <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, let's see, what competition do the best coffee makers try to win? This is a good one, too. The coffee cup, of course. Yeah, kind of like the Stanley Cup for hockey players. Yeah, the coffee cup. Uh, what do you call a joke about coffee? Maybe what do you call a bad joke about coffee? A brouhaha. <laughs> and this one for the adults out there. Uh, let's see. Who is Al Pacino's coffee-loving brother? <laughs> His name is Cap, of course. Cap Pacino. <laughs> All right, LGN friends, I hope you have a wonderful day today. Uh, no birthdays again today. we got a couple coming up tomorrow, and then we're into October. Can you believe it? September's coming to a close already. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday, and I will see you around school. Don't forget, Mr. Jenkins loves you. Bye.